Okay, this came up in office hours last night. Um, some students have had some kind of odd errors out there. And so one of the suggestions which I have, whenever you've tried to troubleshoot your error, but you're getting weird things, it may be something that's wrong with the sync between the libraries, the version of R, R Studio. And so one of the good precautions, if you've tried everything, you still can't figure it out, and you're getting an odd error, what I do is I also do an update to um, R, R Studio and the packages. That kind of eliminates any kind of an issue of a sync error or anything like that. Now, um, I typically also do this as a discipline once before the start of every semester, and I do this kind of on a regular basis. The packages I tend to update more often than go back and look for changes to RStudio and R. But um, you can actually run multiple versions of R. So let me show you the process for going through here. First of all, I'll show you here's R in my system. I'm actually running 4.1 and 4.1.0. Um, in both of these cases here, I run, the, I have both the 64 and the 32-bit version of it out there. Um, I'm on Windows 10 Professional, so the 64-bit ver version is the fastest and the better of the two for me to use. If for some reason you have an older PC, you may have to run the 32-bit um, version, but it installs both of them whenever you install the 64-bit version. So that's what the difference between those two are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fire up the main uh, GUI for R. Um, now, I've, I've posted this link as well. Um, this is from the R documentation site, and this is a little package, a library called install R. It's what I use to do updates to R, so the base R system. And so in order to get that, you do install R packages. So install R. It'll then ask you to select a mirror. I'm going to go ahead and select Michigan. It then downloads it and installs it. So then I use the library command. And it puts this little menu up here at the top. So from here, I can go ahead and do update of R. I can update all the R packages which are associated with me too as well. Um, I'm going to choose update R. It goes out and does a check and it says, you can see I'm on the latest version of R. I do not need to update. Um, now, I have, ha I have had older versions of R that I've kept out there because, again, sometimes I have to go back and check a previous version if a student's having an issue to see if I can reproduce it. Um, when you go through this, if you haven't got the latest version and it goes through the update, it's going to ask you where to save the R instance to. Um, just use the default is probably good in most cases. It's also going to ask you if you'd like to copy the libraries over or leave them in their existing location and download again. Um, I would suggest do the copy method. So it'll automatically copy all of your libraries over for you. And then you can turn around and do an update on those libraries. If you don't do that, then um, you know it, it'll keep a duplicate copy. It takes up extra hard drive space. Um, now, the only reason for keeping the older version of the copies, again, if you're like me and you have to go back to earlier versions of it, um, then I can go and I can look at the actual library at that time, and then I'll download the new library for the new instance. So that's kind of a way to use install R package in order to update R. Let me also show you um, updating R Studio. I'm going to fire up R Studio. So here's R Studio. First thing I would do is I would go to Check for Updates under the Help Desk. If I go Check for Updates, it's telling me right now I'm on the latest version of R Studio. If you're not, then it's going to give you the option to quit R Studio and go directly to the R Studio website again to where you can download the latest version. Um, upgrading R Studio took took me about uh, five minutes at most, so it's a quick process. And then after that, it'll get, you'll have the same thing here. You'll see that you're on the latest version. So right now, at this point, latest version of R, latest version of R Studio. The next thing I would do is um, check for package updates. You can do that either through here, or you can do that through pushing this button right here. And then if I have I have uh, four package updates here, which I'd have to do, so then I just select that and I just do install updates right there. It'll go through its process. Now, you may get an additional question which says that this one needs to be compiled. Um, go ahead and say yes to that question. It'll run through the compile. So some of these are binary. They download and it's ready to go. Some of them have to be compiled too as well. So that's the difference between those two things. 
Now, finally, um, remember I, I mentioned that you could have multiple versions of R. So within the global options, it's automatically going to default to the latest version of R. And really what I'm getting by that is uh, by the tools, global options. And then I can turn around here and I can change the setting right here. And so I'm using the default version of R. Um, you can use specific versions if you'd rather use a specific version. So if I was going to check a student that had something in 4.1.0, then I could do this and I could automatically change it back and forth between the two of those. So um, this is how you would change the version. It's going to default to the latest version of whatever you've got loaded, the highest, the best, the fastest one that you've got out there. So that's all the individual pieces of that. Okay. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, you have any difficulty doing that, please let me know. Now, one additional thing I'll mention is sometimes a library itself can get corrupted for some reason. There's also a way to uninstall and reinstall, and that's basically right here where you could do remove package, and then you could do install. You type the name of that package too as well. Um, for those type of theirs, I wouldn't just necessarily go out there and start deleting and removing packages. I would uh, do that kind of as after you've gone through all these steps, if you're still getting that error, um, that might be something that I would consider. But before you go down that path, if you get to that point, you're still having some errors, um, reach out to me and let's see if we can try to troubleshoot that. But that's kind of what we covered in office hours yesterday. That's the whole process. I'll leave this video as well as the link to the uh, website which uh, for the, our documentation, which walks you through step-by-step step of the same process I've just outlined. Any questions, just reach out. Have a good one.